working with uh, metal in general, it requires a lot of machinery, it requires a lot of tooling, patience, um, strength, skill, you know, all that stuff. So that took a long time to develop. Hi, I'm Matt Devine. I'm an artist sculptor here in San Diego. With metal, it's very immediate. You cut it, you weld it, and you're going. Like, and and I, I'm really drawn to that. I'm still drawn to that. I'm drawn to the speed of it, the, and just the immediate properties of it, and, and also the strength of it as well. Just being able to put something together, and you can just hold it and tack it together and get a feel for it and just start going. And that's, it's really kind of what the backbone of my work is. I started uh, basically in fabrication shops uh, when I was younger, working with in wood shops, and I uh, was working in the theater. Worked actually actually at La Jolla Playhouse. That's where they. I was 19 years old, and they taught me how to weld there, and said, "You want to learn how to weld to help build the sets?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." It's more of a meditation, really. Uh, there's something um, I'm, I'm really into minimalism. I'm into mid-century, into clean lines, simplicity, and so I'm for. The, the repetition, it's more just kind of trying to remove as much as possible. Building something, there's always drop, there's always leftover, and that usually inspi might inspire the next piece. I'll have a bucket of drop or scrap laying around. You're like, oh, that's kind of a cool piece or that kind of a cool shape. What can I do with that? It's still a daily grind, there's no doubt about it, and getting to this point, it hasn't been an easy road. And, um, you know, it, it's, as, as, as I get busier and as the work progresses, it's, it continues to post, to, the, to post challenges and timelines and deadlines and people want more stuff and bigger stuff. And, and it's, it's all great, this is all great. And as an artist, it's, this is exactly what you want to be, and I'm so thankful for that, but it's, it's definitely a double-edged sword. Like to get too wordy with my artwork or try to dive in too conceptual. Um, I, I like to let the work speak for itself. I feel like every piece is about 95% what I'm trying to do. So I feel like there's always that 5% there of not quite exactly what I'm looking for and there's, there's always that element of surprise which is really cool too. I really I really enjoy the element of surprise and take it leading down that path. But I do feel like there's always just that little bit like, oh I wish I would have done this a little different or I wish I wouldn't done this a little better and, and that what pushes you to the next piece. Yeah I think it's I think it's really cool if the if my viewers get to that point where they're looking at the work and they might might feel that inner peace or feel that calmness or or feel that sense of lost in the piece and they can remove themselves from today's society and just get lost in the work that's because that's what I'm trying to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm.